The European Parliament resumes business after the summer recess with a packed agenda and intensive debates on current issues. The EPP group, the driving political force, will lead the debates on the current economic crisis which hits the European Union, and it will set preconditions for the creation of a genuine economic and monetary union. On Monday, the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee organizes a debate on the report on the issue to be drafted by EPP group member Marianne Thyssen of Belgium. Presenting their views will be European Central Bank Chairman Mario Draghi, the head of the Eurogroup and Luxembourg's Prime Minister Jean-Claude Juncker, along with Commissioners Olli Rehn and Michel Barnier. The EPP Group Bureau will take the relay on the same subject in a meeting to be held in Florence, Italy on Thursday and Friday. Addressing the members will be Italy's Prime Minister Mario Monti, as well as his Maltese counterpart Laurence Gonzi, along with Commission President José Manuel Barroso and European Council Chairman Hermann van Rompuy. The EPP group is currently focusing its action on proposing a viable plan for the Union's economic growth to overcome further devastating effects of the financial crisis. On Friday afternoon and Saturday, still in Florence, is the 15th EPP Group Dialogue with churches and religious institutions. On Wednesday afternoon in Brussels, EPP Group Vice Chairman Marianne Jean Marinescu and the group's spokesperson on agricultural affairs, Albert Dess, will organize a hearing to debate a simpler, more effective and more efficient common agricultural policy. The Commissioner on Agricultural Policy, Dacia Anciolos, will address the gathering. EPP Group members Michel Dortin, Giovanni Lavia, Marietta McGuinness and Elizabeth Kustinger will also present their views on proposed changes to the common agricultural policy. For more information on the week's highlights, visit eppgroup.eu.